We're going to learn how to expand single brackets. We're going to start off with simple examples like this one on positive numbers. We're then going to look at negative numbers and we're going to then carry on and cover all the scenarios below on single brackets. Now, the way my videos work, I'm going to do the example on the left. You're then going to press pause and I've got the example on the right. So let's make a start. Now, with the first one, we're going to multiply everything outside the bracket when you expand by everything inside. So that's going to be 2 times x, which is 2x and then two times three, which is six. So press pause and have a go at the example on the right. So with this one, you should get three X plus 12. So that's everything outside the brackets multiplied by everything inside the brackets. Here we've got another one. So everything outside the bracket. So that's gonna be six times three, which is 18. And then six times P, which is six P. Again, press pause and have a go at the example on the right. So that should give you 10 plus two P. Now we've got negatives. So again, we're going to do the exact same thing, multiply everything outside by everything inside. So that's 3x, and then that's going to be, there's a minus there, so that's going to be a minus 6. Again, press pause and have a go at this one, so that's going to give us 3x minus 18. And now, again, in a similar manner, expand, multiply everything outside by everything inside. So that's going to be 7 times y and 7 times 14. So again, hopefully you've had a go at this one, so that should give you 20 minus 4p. Now we have a variable with a multiplier, so we've got 4x now, so we're going to do the exact same thing, we're going to do 2 times everything inside, so that's going to be 8x and 2 times the 1, which is 2. Again, I hope you've had a go at this one, so that's going to be 10x plus 5. So we've got negatives now, so that'll be 4 times 4, which is 16. The minus from there stays, and then that becomes 12p. Again, hopefully you've pressed pause and I've got this, so that would give us 15y minus 6. And now we have um, the coefficient and the variable, so that'll be 2x squared plus 10x, so that's 2x multiplied by everything inside, um, and again, on the right, we can do 4x times everything inside, so that's 4x squared plus 4x times 4, which is 16. So with this one, again, times everything outside by everything inside, so that's going to be 18x. And just careful with the sign there, it's a negative there, so that'd be 6xy. And again, with this one, exact same manner, so that'll be 60. 5 times 6, which is not 60, 5 times 6 is 30 y and then 5y times minus x so that'll be minus 5yx i uh, just want to make a note here that 5yx is the same as 5xy so it doesn't matter which way around you write it so here's the first checkpoint we've now covered these four examples so before we move on to the next part of the video we can do some practice exercises if you are finding the video useful so far please consider subscribing as it really helps the channel grow so here's some practice questions for you to try. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play for the answers. And here's the answers. Just mark your work. Just make sure you got them all right. So moving on to the next part of the lesson, we are now looking at the coefficient and the inner variable has a multiple. So that's that, that at the top sort of explains these scenarios. So we're going to do 2x times 4x. So that's going to be 8x squared plus 2x times 1, which is just 2x. Again, press pause and have a good example on the right, so that gives us 15x squared plus 3x. So again, in a similar manner, we've now got negative, so that'll be 20. 4 times 5 is 20, and then we have the x, y, minus 8x. And this will be 9y, x, minus 6y. And that'll be 4px minus 4 times 4 is 16py. And this will be 5px um, minus, so that'll be 5 times 5, which is 25. And then we have the p and the y. And now we've got a negative coefficient. So we have minus 2 times x, so that'll be minus 2x. And then we have a minus 2 times 5, so that'll be minus 10. And here we have minus 3 times x, so that's minus 3x. And then we have minus 3 times 
a positive 2, which gives us minus 6. Here we have minus 2x times x, so that'll be minus 2x squared. And then we have minus 2x times a positive 6, so that's going to be a negative 12x. And again, hopefully you've pressed pause and had a go at this, so that'll be minus 3x squared minus 3. Now here you want to be careful to just to bear in mind that minus 1 times minus 1 is equal to a positive, and a minus 1 times a positive 1 is equal to a negative 1. So here we have, in the first case, we have minus 2x times positive x. So we're looking at this scenario here. So when I do these two, I'm going to end up with a negative 2x squared. Now with the second case, we are doing minus 2x times minus 3. So we are now looking at this case here. So you have two negatives. When you multiply two negatives, you get a positive. So that's going to be a plus 6x. Again, press pause and have a go at the example on the right. So this will give us minus 3 x squared so that's minus 3 times a positive 1 and then we have minus 3x times minus 1 and the two minuses become a plus and that gives you that so carrying on in similar manner we have 4 times 2 which is 8 we have the x times x which is x squared and we keep the negative because it's a negative and a positive we're multiplying now in the next case we have a negative and a negative that we're multiplying so that becomes a positive 4 times 3 is 12 and then we're left with x y so on the right, again, hopefully you've had a go at this one. So that becomes minus 15x squared plus 10xy. And now we just have a negative outside. Now this can seem a bit confusing. You can think of this as writing exactly this. So there's a, essentially this minus is minus 1. So we're now doing minus 1 times minus 2x, which gives us minus 2x. And then we're doing minus 1 times minus 2y and the 2 not minuses become a plus so that gives us plus 2y so that's minus 1 times 5x which is minus 5x and that's minus 1 times a minus 3 which is plus 3y and now finally we've got three variables so with three variables it's still the exact same thing so expanding brackets multiply everything outside by everything inside so that's 2x now we're going to multiply the 2 by y, that's 2y, and we've got 5 left now, so we've got to go again, so that's 10. So with this one, it'll be 3x plus 3y plus 6. So note here that writing 1y is the same as writing y. So here's some practice questions for you to have a go at. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play for the answers. And here are the answers. And with that, that is the end of this lesson. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.